Glory be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, we want to specially welcome you to this week's episode of GLOAM Podcast, the official podcast channel of Global Emancipation Ministries, Calgary, Canada. Our mandate is liberating men through the knowledge of the truth and that's what the Lord will be doing through the episode you will be listening to shortly. We will like you to subscribe to this GLOAM Podcast channel on Anchor, Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Overcast, Breaker, Radio Public, Pocket Casts, and other listening platforms accessible to you in order to keep receiving fresh episodes as they become available. That way you will not miss out on any revelation the Lord may be bringing your way through this channel. Please kindly subscribe, share the links and encourage your friends and family to subscribe as well. To learn more about this ministry, kindly visit our website at www.glome.org, and also remember to follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn among others, and stay connected to keep abreast of important spiritual updates as they become available. May the Lord bless you mightily as you do all these in Jesus' name. Now the hour has come to be blessed again. Stay tuned and open your heart as our president, Anthony Adifarakan brings God's word to us from the throne of grace. Be blessed as you listen. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for who you are. We give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. We want to thank you for the privilege given to us to witness yet another week in the land of the living. Thank you so much for what you taught us last week. Thank you for giving us the grace to apply the principles. Thank you for the testimonies you are generating in our lives. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit this session into your hands. We pray that you give us fresh insight into your word. Open our hearts. Give us fresh revelation in the name of Jesus. By the time this episode is over, let us look back and afford the cause to glorify your name. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. For this week's episode of Glenn Podcast, we're going to be considering the second um, second part of Equation of Faith. Uh, last week, the Lord taught us uh, Equation of Faith Part 1. He gave us a mathematical uh, equation from, the, from what Jesus Christ was trying to pass across in Mark chapter 11 verse 22 to 23 mark 11 22 to 23 that was where we generated the question one from that was the question of faith part one and uh, this week we're going to be moving on to equation of faith part two equation of faith part two and we're going to be looking at matthew 19 26 we're going to be reading matthew chapter 19 verse 26 from king james version and mark chapter 9 verse 23 also from king james version Matthew 19.26 and Mark 9.23 uh, Let's take Matthew 19.26 It says, But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Mark 9 23 says, Jesus said unto them, I mean, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. The Lord bless his words in the heart in Jesus' name. As earlier mentioned, of course, as defined last week, uh, we said an equation can simply be defined as a statement that the values of two mathematical expressions are equal, indicated by the equal to sign. An equation is a statement that the values of two mathematical expressions are equal, indicated by the equal to sign. Now let's consider this second mathematical equation in understanding the message Jesus intended to pass across in our text. Jesus was saying something. In Matthew 19 26 and Mike, Mark 9 23, that we should pay attention to. It's very important if we get this and it registers in our mindsets, it becomes part of our, our, of our thought process, it becomes part of our lives. Hmm. Our lives will be better for it. 
So let's look at this. If A equals C, where A is God, according to Matthew 19, 26, C, if A equals C, where A is God, according to Matthew 19, 26, C, and B equals C, where B is a believer, according to Mark 9, 23, I take it again, if A equals C, that's with equal to sign, if A equals C, where A is God, according to the first test, and B equals C, where B is a believer, according to the second test, Mark 9, 23, it then means that A equals B, giving C equals all things are possible. I will explain. A is God. Okay? A is God. C means all things are possible. A is God. C means what? All things are possible. According to Matthew 19, 26, say, with God, all things are possible. So, A equals all things are possible. With God, because A is God, all things are possible. Now, what is B? B is a believer. And B also equals C. All things are possible. Mark 9 23 says to him that believes all things are possible so if A equals all things are possible B also equals all things are possible it then means A equals B A is giving me C B is giving me C then A and B must be equal right a and B must be equal because they are both giving me C. A equals C, B equals C, then A has to be equals to B. As long as C means all things are possible. That is the way to explain what Jesus is trying to pass across mathematically in these two texts. So with God, all things are possible. With a believer, all things are equally possible. What's the implication? It means when it comes to converting impossibilities to possibilities, a believer operates in the same capacity as God. That's why A equals B. When it comes to the issue of converting impossible situations to possible situations, when it comes to converting impossibilities to possibilities, when it comes to the issue of all things are possible, a believer is operating in the same capacity as God. And this can be confirmed in Psalm 82 verse 6. Psalm 82 verse 6 according to King James Version says he says I have said ye are God ye are God and all of you are children of the Most High that's what it says Isaiah, I mean Psalm 82 verse 6 it's written concerning those who believe in God he said I have said ye are gods. believers in God they are gods and all of you are children of the Most High also in John chapter 10, John chapter 10, 34 to 35, John chapter 10, 34 to 35, from, also from King James Version, it is written, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. If he called them gods unto, the, unto whom the word of God came. You know what that means? When the word of God comes to you as a believer, he makes a god out of you. When you receive the revelation of the word of God, it turns you into a God. A lion will give birth to a lion. 
a goat will give birth to a goat. Who do you think God will give birth to? God. When the word of God comes, you say, I've said, Ye are gods. If he call them gods unto whom the word of God came. Remember, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when the word of God comes to you, faith is born. And the moment faith is born, you qualify as ye are gods. A equals B. Why? The result is the same. All things are possible. With God, all things are possible. To him that believeth, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. To him that believeth, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. To him that believeth, all things are possible. So this equation of faith implies that as a believer, the moment you begin to exercise faith, you start recording God kind of results. You start recording God kind of results. That was why Apostle Paul. There was there was a place Apostle Paul was ministering. I think in the I mean among the I mean among the Athens, they they saw the they saw the manifestation of the power of God at work in the life of these apostles, and they started offering sacrifices to them. They had to shout that we are we are just like you. They concluded these guys are gods because they were recording God kind of results. When you begin to operate in faith, you begin to record God kind of results. Because with both of you, all things are possible. So whatever is possible to God becomes possible with you as well. Faith is what puts you in the very class of God. The scriptures cannot be broken. It might be too much for your brain, but it is written. The scriptures cannot be broken. John 10, 35. Jesus says so. You can't break this. Yeah, God. I read it to you again. Look at that text. Open your Bible if you think maybe I'm making this up. Matthew 19, 26. Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And that's another revelation there. He said, with men, with men, ordinary men, these situations are impossible. But with God, all things are possible. He now went further to say in Mark 9.23, Jesus said unto him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. So all things are not possible to men. Because with men, this is impossible. Jesus said so. So what now makes it possible? Because you become a believer. So believers are not mere men. They are not just men. They are believers. They are gods. They are gods. Faith puts you in God's own very class. You begin to share results. The scriptures cannot be broken. 1 John 5, 1 John 5, 4 to 5 say, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth. That Jesus is the Son of God. 1 John 5, 4 to 5. You begin to operate in the very class of God. I give you an example. Let's just take a very simple example. Let's say somebody is sick. Okay? Somebody is sick. I have a question for you. If they call on God, Let's say God decides to come in the flesh. They call on God. God, this our brother is sick. Please, we need him to be healed. Help us. And God comes. Do you think God will be able to heal that brother? Of course. Of course. God comes and heals the brother. And you say, God, thank you for coming to heal our brother. 
the brother is healed. Now, look at this situation this other way. This same brother is sick, but they didn't call on God. They called a believer. They say, brother believer, our brother is sick. Please help us. We want our brother to be healed. And you, as a brother or sister believer, you get there and you lay your hands upon the person and you pray. Because Jesus had already said, you shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. And you are a believer. And you lay hands on the sick and the brother recovers. What is the difference in the results? that God got and the one you got. What's the difference? God came, he healed the brother. You came, you prayed, the brother is healed. See, outcome. All things are possible. Brother is healed. So, either you call God to personally come down and heal the brother or you locate a believer in God who who believes, who is operating in the faith realm like God comes around and he prays and the brother the result is the same that's why the bible says with god all things are possible and also to him that believeth believeth in who in himself no the one that believeth in god with whom nothing shall be impossible to him also nothing shall be impossible can't you see the link can't you see the link with god all things are possible with a believer all things are possible why because he believes in the god of all possibility so the same oil the same grace the same empowerment the same everything that makes things possible for god is transferred to the one who believes that with god all things are possible so god is literally carrying it out through him he's not doing anything he's just a believer It's just a believer. So as a believer, you carry God. As a believer, you are God's end. As a believer, you are God's voice. You are his mouth. You are his mouth. He says, open your mouth and I will feel it. You can, you can declare things on God's behalf. On God's behalf. The nation of Israel, they were committing sin. Elijah came out and declared. And for the next three and a half years, no rain. That's your punishment. He declared it on behalf of God and God signed it. And he locked the rain, put the key in his pocket and went away. And people, I, 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 I usually imagine when I talk about this, uh, what Elijah did, I usually imagine that people are crying to God, God, please, we need rain, please, we need rain. God said, you better go and beg Elijah. The key's in his pocket. That's the way. He didn't say God. He said, look, Elijah said, except at my word. He didn't say except at God's word. He closed the heavens and he said, rain is not going to fall until I say so. So if you like, pray. It doesn't matter. Until I say so. He was, he was a God over that situation. He was, de- he was making declaration on God's behalf as a full, resp- full representative with all the backings of heaven. He said, this rain will not drop until I say so. He locked up heaven, put the key in his pocket, and God didn't say, what are you doing? Because to him that believe it, all this are possible. That is, see, Christianity, I, I keep saying, it, this Christianity is not just, you know, nice suit on Sunday, you carry one Bible. It's, it's more than that. It's not tying one scarf and wearing one long gown. No. It is it is the consciousness of who you are. Identity. Who you are in Christ Jesus. You are God's end. Somebody says, somebody say wherever, and I like that prayer. Somebody say, God, wherever, wherever Jesus is needed, let my presence be enough. I like that. People are saying, oh, if Jesus were to be around now, and you say, I'm here. And the result is the same. Because you are his hand to heal the sick. You are his voice. You are his mouth to preach the gospel. With God, all things are possible. To him that believeth, all things are possible. If A equals C, 
B equals C, then A and B are equal. That's the equation of faith part 2. To be a believer is to be operating in the class of God, recording God kind of result because he had already said, Ye are God's. It's my prayer. In any way you are living your life short of this privilege, in any way you are not experiencing the fullness of the benefit of being connected to God, may the Lord release this fresh consciousness upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every privilege you have lost, may the Lord restore in the mighty name of Jesus. That is the equation too. That's the equation of faith part two. To, with God, all things are possible. With you, if you are a believer, nothing shall be impossible. I didn't say so. Jesus said so. And he cannot lie. He cannot lie. He's not the son of man that should lie. He can't lie. If it's not going to happen, Jesus will say it to not happen. He said with a man, it is impossible. But with believers, all things are possible. Nothing is impossible. Because you are not doing anything in your strength. You are doing everything in the strength of the almighty God with whom nothing shall be impossible. Beginning from now, every situation that appears impossible in your life, the Lord will turn them into possibility in the name of Jesus. I pray especially for anyone listening to me now who is barren and you are looking at your age as if you have you know you have already passed the age of childbearing who says so sarah was 90 years old and god reversed everything that needed to be reversed and sarah became pregnant and she gave birth that same power that reversed the irreversible in the life of sarah is locating your womb now and you shall also conceive regardless of your age in the name of jesus Sarah didn't die barren. You will not die barren. In the name of Jesus. Anything in your life that looks impossible. The diagnosis is terrible. You are in stage 4 cancer. You, you are, it's like it, death verdict. It's like they have passed death sentence on you. You look at that medical report and you are looking at I'm, You are saying I'm finished. I'm gone. Don't say so. Don't say so. God is just about starting with you. The Lord is reversing, irreversible in your life. In the name of Jesus, everything called impossible. By reason of you listening to this episode and you believe what the Lord is saying through his word to you, they shall all become possibilities in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So if you are there, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, well, I'm sorry, you are not a believer. So with you, nothing is possible jesus said with men this is impossible so you are just a man you are just you are you are operating the impossible realm but you want to become a believer with whom nothing shall be impossible you want the power of god to begin to flow through you so that you can begin to record god kind of result you are going to surrender your life to jesus christ by saying these prayers after me say lord jesus i am a sinner i cannot help myself and that's why I need your salvation. Please come into my life today. Wash away all my sins. And set me free from every bondage that sin has attracted into my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior today. Please write my name in the book of life. And help me to live for you alone from now onward. Also fill me with your Holy Spirit. And don't let me ever become a powerless Christian. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father and our God want to thank you for this, your word. We are so blessed. We are so blessed. Lord, we know it's very, it might be very difficult for our brain to understand how can we say we are having God kind of result. But your scripture is written and is said to the devil. Thank you for showing us that as believers, we don't record impossibilities. Thank you so much for this honor. Thank you for, you know, causing us to enjoy the power that flows from you. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for this, your children who have decided to surrender their life to Jesus Christ. They want to leave the realm of ordinary men and become believers. Lord, wash away all their sins. 
write their names in the book of life in the name of jesus accept them in the beloved in the mighty name of jesus let the power of the power of pentacles visit these ones let the power of the holy spirit locate them in the name of jesus beginning from now when they make declarations father back it up in the name of jesus let them become your hands to reach people let them become your voice to speak your to speak to people in the name of jesus and together father empower us to cause impossibilities to become possibilities in the name of jesus everywhere we go let us be worthy representatives and worthy ambassadors of your kingdom in the name of jesus and on the last day help us to see your face in glory thank you father for answering our prayers we return all the glory to you in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen we give glory to god for the revelation of his word may we receive grace to be doers and not just hearers in jesus name if you said that prayer of salvation congratulations you are now born again you are a new creature old things have passed away and all things have become new praise god to learn more about this new life in christ jesus please visit our website at www.glome.org for various helpful resources we also want to invite you to be part of our weekly online bible study that holds every sunday at 5 o'clock to 6 p.m mountain time via zoom app Click on the invitation banner on the homepage of our website to join the meeting from wherever you are, it's entirely online. God bless you as you do this in Jesus' name. Thanks so much for listening. Kindly share this episode with others so they too can be blessed, and remember to subscribe to this podcast channel. We will be here again next week for a fresh episode if the Lord has not returned. Until then, keep enjoying your freedom in Christ Jesus. God bless you.